Hey Cancer, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for November 11th through November 18th. All right, so this is a general reading for Cancer. All right, so general readings tap into the collective and while they may feel very personal, they are not personal readings. General readings and personal readings are meant to help you connect to your own intuition, which you all possess, all right? So if you enjoy what I'm doing here and you are so inclined, please like, subscribe, and share my content and leave me a comment if you like. If you're struggling with a situation and want to confirm your intuition, you can reach out to me for a personal reading. I would love to help you. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so this first row up here is going to be you. Barney, are you, are you barking in your sleep? Are you barking in your sleep? <laughs> the second row here is going to represent your person, all right? So... This is what both of you are feeling, thinking, and doing. And then we're going to use um, this oracle deck. And honestly, I know some of you might ask me what the name of it is. And honestly, I forget. I forgot what it is. Yeah. Anyway, um, I like this deck a lot but I'm not crazy about the size of the cards. I wish the size of the cards were a little bit bigger. So that's why I don't use it very often. All right, so this represents intuition. So what your intuition is telling you, what their intuition is telling them. And then over here, this represents your energy in the physical world right now and also their energy in the physical world all right so we're actually going to start right in the middle okay this is your thoughts how the two of you are thinking because your thoughts are what create your life all right so you know, whatever you're thinking is probably what is showing up in your life, what is manifesting in your life. So if there are thoughts here that need to be, you know, changed, you know, we'll probably see that. All right. So let's start here with you. All right. We have the tower. So I just said, <laughs> you know, if, uh, if there's something here that needs to be changed and we get the tower for you. So you might be thinking about something within this connection that felt unexpected. Something here is unexpected or happened in an unexpected way. Doesn't have to be a negative thing. Doesn't have to be a bad thing, all right? But I feel like there was something that was unexpected about this connection in some way. All right, let's see what they're thinking about. What do we have? The moon. Okay. So, you know, this person, this person might have, you know, they're, I feel like they're thinking about, first of all, their feelings. They might have just revealed something or just brought something to the light to you that you were not expecting. Something that they have been keeping hidden in the dark or they're about to do this. Feelings that they've been keeping hidden. I feel like, you know, they're thinking about how they feel about you. And I feel like either, you know, this person has already revealed something to you or they're about to reveal something to you. So this tower, you might either be preparing yourself for an, something unexpected here, or you have recently experienced something unexpected. But was it? Was it unexpected for you, or were you feeling this? Let's see what your intuition says. Yeah, 
Okay, so we've got the, the flower bouquet. All right, and the flower bouquet, bouquet is about bliss and unity. So your intuition was telling you that something was coming towards you from this person. All right, what is this person's intuition saying? We have, oh, we have the lily. Oh, that's beautiful. <clears throat> so the lily, you know, is, this is about unconditional love and monogamy. This person, I feel like, is in love with you. That might be what's unexpected. This person's feelings might have been developing you know, over the course of time for a while. You know, they might have been falling in love with you for a while. This person might come right out and say, I'm in love with you. Or I'm attracted to you. Or I'm falling in love with you. That's what this feels like. Let's see what your energy is here in the physical world. All right, so we have the ram. So this is about passion. This might, this, you know, information might have come to you in a very, very passionate way. You might be feeling a lot of passion towards this person. Beautiful energy over here. What does this person have here? We have the lobster. All right. So this person, I'm telling you, this person is celebrating. This is about celebration. It also can be about um, rehoming. In other words getting a new home or moving this person might be considering moving towards you but this is the energy of celebration celebration i feel like this person might be celebrating the fact that the feelings are mutual it feels like the feelings are mutual here all right so let's see feelings we have four of cups how interesting. Four of Cups, and what does this person have? The Hangman. Huh. All right, so I almost feel like you might have been on the way out with somebody else. You might have been in the middle of a breakup when this person came into your life, or you might have been getting over somebody. Because, you know, this woman here, she's very focused on these three empty cups. That's why this person felt very, very unexpected. I feel like you knew this person, maybe as a friend or a colleague, they might have watched you go through a breakup. You can see this Ace of Cups right over here, this new love just waiting for you. This person was just waiting for you. So, you know, with the hangman, for them, in their feelings, you know, they might have felt fairly hung up for a while. Like they couldn't really move. They couldn't do anything about this. Possibly while you were mourning another relationship. They might still feel that way. Okay? But I feel like this person is falling in love with you. Let's see, what are you doing right now? Seven of Cups. Okay, so I feel like in this case, I feel like this is confusion. I feel like you might be shocked or you might not be ready, you know, for this type of connection coming out of something. It might be too soon for you. You're confused, but at the same time, you know, I do feel like you have these feelings. I feel like you wish you had been given a little more time before this showed up. What is this person doing? Five of Swords. All right, so, you know, this can be the energy of fighting for you because with you here, you know, trying to determine what cup is for you, this person might feel like you haven't fully let go of somebody else. So, you know, they might show the energy of fighting for you. 
I do feel like you are interested and that you do have feelings for this person though. Because, you know, we've got celebration and passion here in the in the physical energy. So let's see. Let's see. I'm more curious about you. Let's see. Four of Cups, Tower, and Seven of Cups for you. For this person, the Hangman, Five of Swords, and the Lily. All right, so the lily for them, again, monogamy, three of cups. So <clears throat> this person's intuition is, you know, saying that there is potential for monogamy, for a union here, for unconditional love. But I feel like three of cups is standing in their way. You know, this might be a situation again where this person is a friend of yours. This card represents friendship. But, you know, honestly, you know, there's probably no better way to have a connection or a relationship than to start off as friends, knowing each other on a friendship level first. So I don't feel like that's a hindrance at all. Let's see this hangman. What is this person hung up on? Queen of Wands. So I don't feel like they in any way wanted to be perceived as, um, you know, interfering in your relationship with somebody else. Um, you know, I feel like they saw you as extremely handsome or extremely beautiful, very charming, very sexy. They're hung up on how attracted they are to you. You know, it's like, when do I make my move? But I don't feel like this person wanted to in any way be the reason or the cause for you to break up with somebody else. So I feel like they were waiting for that to happen, okay? Four of Cups for you, clarified by Eight of Wands. You know, I want one more for you there because that's about communication. Nine of Cups. You know, I feel like you did talk to this person um, about your former relationship or a relationship that might be breaking up. Um, you know, I feel like you might have said to this person, why can't they be more like you in some way? You know, because you have nine of cups there and you've got eight of wands, communication about your wishes. I feel like you wished for this on some level. You wished for this person to have this level of interest in you. And I feel like you're surprised by it. You're surprised by it a little bit. This was unexpected. Seven of wands. And it's like, because it's unexpected and you might not have been completely ready I still feel like you're fighting ghosts of the past, you know, from your former connection or relationship. There were things that you liked about that relationship, but there were things that you didn't like. And it's like you might have thought along the way, oh my gosh, you know, I shouldn't have said, I shouldn't have been talking about this with this person. You know, how did this person fall for me? Or, you know, but I do feel like you enjoyed the attention that you got from this person and now it's becoming real it's becoming real for you five of swords here for this person and seven of pentacles this person is fighting for what's next when it comes to you they want to be what's next for you without a doubt okay I don't feel like they know for sure. I don't feel like they know for sure yet. The moon, clarified by three of swords. I feel like this person was heartbroken 
when you might have not jumped right into this. Okay, they were a little bit heartbroken. They want to fight to be what's next for you, without a doubt. Seven of Cups, you're confused a little bit. Hermit, you need a little time. You just need a little time. I feel like you're exploring your, your passionate thoughts and feelings when it comes to this person. Let's see. Hermit, Five of Cups. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You know, I feel like you need to mourn the loss or feel the sadness of the former connection, which is indicated by these three cups that are turned over. But guess what? You can't tell me that there isn't a connection here. There is a connection. But you're confused and you need time to take it in. But I feel like, you know, this... Where is it? Oh, this Ace of Cups, this new love, is just waiting here for you. They are waiting for you to get past something, get over a breakup. One more for the Queen of Wands. Six of Wands. They want victory and love with you, without a doubt. But they don't want to be, you know, they don't want to be the cause or the reason for your breakup at all. They want to wait till you're ready. I feel like they will wait, you know, until you're ready. And for them, it'll be a huge celebration. Because I feel like this is like, um, this is like an unbaked cake. You know, it, it's like all the ingredients are there. They're all, you know, in the bowl. And all you guys have to do is put it in the oven <laughs> and let it heat up and cook. And this could be a really, really, this has a lot of great potential. This feels like a very, very good person. And this person, I will tell you, gets their heart broken easily. Um, they're in love with you already. So it might feel new to you, but I feel like this person is already in love with you. So if you have somebody around you that you consider a great friend, um, take a second look because... I feel like this is somebody that you talk to on a regular basis, and I feel like they're already in love with you. Okay? All right. Cancer, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. Um, I will be adding a few readings every week um, for the earth, fire, air, water readings. I will be doing singles and new connections. On Wednesdays, I will be doing current connections or relationships and challenges on Thursdays. And then, you know, if you're dealing with somebody who's married or you're in a marriage, um, I'll be doing that on Friday. All right. All right. That is what I have. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.